now I'll come back home. But today video, every extension where I go show now, now fit download them for just this one extension pack where I don't package for now. I recall them DJ Dev extension pack. Now fit just search VS code for them. You go fit download them from there. Now here, if you get everything we will discuss for today's video. So make we see all the extensions we will get from this extension pack. The first extension, now this auto rename tag. You go see a very small extension, but it's been very useful when you go start to decode. You go notice say whenever you create tag and you want to rename that element or that tag. What you go notice we say if you do inside one element or you do inside the like deeply nested element like this so and you want to rename them, you go come define the tag and where they do. But with this extension, just it rename the opening tag and this extension will go up to the rename the closing tag anywhere only be. The next extension we will look now is bookmarks. And why I love this extension, we say it helped me to jump from one side of the code to the other, line A to line P. If you want to create a bookmark, you will just press Ctrl, Alt, and K, and that will help you create a bookmark for here. Then if you want to create them again for somewhere else, you could just repeat the same thing, Ctrl, Alt, K for somewhere else. And then if you want to jump back, to the place where you don't make before, you should just press Ctrl Alt and J, or if you even just press Ctrl Alt and L. So if you go forward to the next bookmark, and also you get the sidebar where you say if you use, do they select any of your bookmarks, or if you the user, they delete your bookmarks. The next one we will look for here now the better comments. So as we say, if we read them, we go feel understand what thing they do. For example, if something they important. If you put a symbol here, say they important, or if you did, if you get question about a comment, if you feel also do like this, and then you go create a comment with the question mark, and then if you say you want to do it to do, you go just say okay oh, to do, make you remind yourself say now what's I go do later with this. So now waiting with this better comment they do. The next one now code spell check. Because whenever we they write code, sometimes our head go day the code will be say because that they miss the spelling of what to be the type and that thing if cause bug for our code. So if you spell anything on top VS code and you make small mistake on top of the spelling, maybe you spell a word or something like congrats now, you go give me this link thing, this blue underline. And if you put the mouse on top of you go see say you go to show or say now unknown word. That unknown word just means say if you fix them or if you change them. Now, of course, if you want to change them, just press Control and Full Stop. When you press Control and Full Stop, it will open like a text suggestion or possible suggestion. We we'll say if it be within one spell, and then if you put them, if you even customize your own or add them to workspace settings, it could help you with the catch bug. Before you even start, it they work with text, it they work with variable names. Even if you do use camel case, it they work with them because it could save you hours of debugging web say and just simple one letter. Now they make your function or your code or your variables know they work. All the highlight now very, very useful extension. What thing they do we say it they help us they highlight the colors for inside our code. For example, if to say I write a hex code, so hash and then the code instead of make it just the as code it go they give me the color of that code so no need for me today try to the reason the color if you just look the color and i go see the color and if you also do the same if you even change the color just by putting the mouse on top of and then if you change the color to what you want so this is now very nice to to get when you work with colors inside your code the other extension we did is part now pretty typescript errors you could make all your TypeScript error they make sense. Whether you like them or not, TypeScript now the way forward. So if you study JavaScript, then you suppose also they learn they work with TypeScript. And like you know, for this our channel, most of the things we will do now JavaScript. So if you get this extension and you work with TypeScript, this extension will help you where where. Make a show now with at the top. If you look this CSX file, you're gonna notice say we get a state. We suppose they receive a string. What if we call mistakenly assign them to a boolean? So then I'm waiting this error message go to show us. So instead of this one, one way they up, we're gonna get better one for here. And then we fix the 
error. Even if you say you want user for a function, it will still run error message. You go feel read the error message. So instead of make the error message be like the one string or one sentence, now you go get them broken down for you, where you say your brain go feel cool, can't take understand them small, small. If you do use them, it will make your development life much easier. And your TypeScript game, eh? It go make sense well, well. If this video don't help you, small self. And then don't forget like them, don't forget share them, subscribe if you never subscribed already. I go to Ginger more, and so the channel itself will grow more and more. So I really appreciate it. Nice one, guys. The next extension, well, for like show now, this one, I don't already drop video for now. On top fine if you now watch that video you could also say now another ai tool but it only help us with code and if you don't install that for your vs code you go feed they run that same fine command on top of your vs code which means say no need to leave your vs code environment click sign in you go feed sign into the website and once you don't sign into your find account you go get access to use them on top of your vs code so we find for inside your VS Code, if you tell them, say, make it look inside your file and make it help you explain what's in the code for this file, they do. Another thing with this extension, they do, we say, if you feel they give them commands, like if you tell them, say, make it help you add comments on top a specific file for inside your full code base. And if you don't do like that, you could just need to select the file name. So any file where they open, find, go find that file name, and then it will help you to add that file name. Or if you just use the add symbol, and that will open everything, all the files with the inside your current code base. And then if you just select the file, once you put add, you go feel select the file. Once you select the file, it go add down to the list of files where find go work on top. You go generate the response, we get all the comments. And then if you just select the file and tell them what you want to make you do. So if you clear everything for here, if you want, and if you click on any of these icons for here, this one now to add them when you get the cursor, like which day number one right now, and the other one now to just for copy paste down to copy for clipboard and to paste down. So if you just click insert for this line, and now you don't insert with comments inside our code. Quick, quick, easy. We don't explain with comments within our code. They do for us. One of my favorite extension now this Thunder client. And when you don't start to work with APIs, you go need some way where you go to work or interact with your API. If you don't install them on top of your VS Code, you go see this Thunder icon. If you click on you go feed the make request from inside your VS Code. You go feed the get the responsible for VS Code. You notice to say it resembles Postman Small. Now, you feed they build your APIs inside VS Code. And if you even they use third party APIs on top of VS Code, if you set the header, authentication, if you even set the body, how you want to make the body format, make it the if not JSON, if not just text, if you want to make it be something else, maybe GraphQL, you feel also do like that. But one of the features I like pass for this extension, now the fact say I think they save my request as a collection. And then I feel even just import them into another project. And like this, when I feel even import them into your own VS Code, and then we go get the same requests all set up from our collection on top Thunder client. The last extension for your AWS Toolkit, and this one now my secret weapon, because this one, if you don't use Copilot before, we're not going to pay for them, but with this one, we don't need to pay anything for this extension. And the best part, we say, it they come with better, better functions. Not be only just AI. It get other services where we say, if they build on top AWS, it they make them easier for you. Make sure say you get AWS account. If you don't get AWS account, you could need one because when you don't install them, you're going to need to activate the extension. After you don't activate the extension, at that time, we'll be say you go feed the right code, and as you go the right code, the thing will help you. They even they complete the code before you finish the right the code, and then it go they give you the code suggestion. So no be yeah yeah, yeah code when the thing go they give you suggestion. Now code where they follow best practices. Where code we say everybody don't check them, don't test them. If they work well, everybody like them. Now those kind of code suggestions where the thing they give you. If they even read into your context, so if they look your whole application 
based on the logistics or the code where they write so you will come they gather gather the code they give you and again finally if you want to get all these extensions for inside your own vs code just go on vs code download this dj dev extension pack install them and it will install everything where you need on top your vs code so i hope say when i enjoy this video i'll go see you for the next video